Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm out on the Tiger 900 GT Pro for a for a little ride. Um, it's uh, it's autumn, so the roads are wet and I see a lot of the farm vehicles has been uh, leaving a lot of mud and debris in the middle of the road. So it's a uh, it's a little bit tricky at the moment. Um, I just want to bring you guys along and I wanted to just want to give you some final thoughts about the bike and I'll explain a little bit about the final thoughts when we get on the bike. Um, but but it's been a year now that I've had the bike, really enjoyed it, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it, is, it is such a great bike. Um, it's held up beautifully. Um, I've just, it's, it, it's, it's just such a, such a good package that you can buy, you know. Yes, if you compare this to the BMW uh, F850 GS and uh, a few of the other bikes out there as well, you know, um, uh, I think the Tenere 700 is is is, is in a, sort of in a different class, which is because it's cheaper, but the Desert X is more expensive, and uh, and so forth. So you all know that that specific range of bikes that you that you get out, and this bike is just such a such an easy bike to live with. But uh, let's carry on talking when I'm actually on the bike. So let's get going. Okay, guys. Let's get on this uh, Triumph Tiger 900 GT Pro. Clutch in. Boom. Let's get going. Just a lot of bikes here. I think there's a there's a training school around here. Learning learning school. So let's get going. I've had this bike now for a year, and uh, it's uh, it's it's been really a lovely bike. You know, if you are looking for a uh, for a for adventure bike that is easy to live with. Man, this is uh, this is probably it. You know, um, I've 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 not had um, like the Desert X and all those uh, other ones, but I've had the um, the whole range of BM of BMW bikes, um, all the GS, all the GS range and so forth, and um, also the F850 GS, and uh, this is uh, this is a really a refreshing, easy to ride bike. Really good power, what they call uh, linear power. So uh, you've got you, you've got you've got really nice, uh, nice, uh, uh, smooth power all the way around. And uh, it's just it, it's just an easy, really easy to live with bike. Let's start with a few of the things uh, that that I think stand out on this bike. So. So yes, this is the this is the GT Pro. So it's the it's the top end version with all the bells and whistles. And um, I would say uh, I was when I test drove the the 850 Sport, the Tiger 850 Sport. I thought to myself, you know, I can I can I can really live with the 850 Sport. So 850 Sport was just a it's just a sort of it's that. A, a, a sweet spot uh, to having an adventure bike it's probably a little bit more road orientated but it's an adventure bike for that price and you get everything that you really need there's nothing extra that you really need now yes you know you can say uh, I would like some heated grips and I would like some uh, cruise control and I would like some uh, more uh, rider modes and I would like some adjustable suspension and all these lovely things and yes all these things can be added to that bike um, but if you start adding all those things then then you're going to get to the price of the of the GT Pro so um, I got the GT Pro because I got a good, a good deal on it and when I was looking at the 850 uh, there was none of them going about. I had to uh, put a, um, a, uh, a order in and it would have taken months before it arrives. It's quite interesting. There's such a shortage of bikes at the moment as well you know it's like and if you want any of the any of the new bikes then then it takes absolutely ages. Just to give you some feedback on that, uh, I was looking at a uh, at a Honda CRF 
300L, the rally one. And the guy said to me, uh, if you order it now, this is now, uh, uh, what is it, uh, October 2022, you will get it at the end of 2023. I'm like, what? For, for a bike like that? I'm sorry. That's way too long to wait. And they don't have any demo models or any 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 bikes in the showroom so it's uh, it's quite quite interesting so uh had the bike now for a year um a few pointers the screen where you can adjust it uh, on the fly very easy simple to uh, simple to adjust just a little handle here you push it forward you move it up push it down and you can adjust it and anywhere in between as well so it's not just to the bottom or the top you can really adjust it. There's 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 little uh, like a little uh, a ratchet style thing where it can go up up and down, and you can really uh, tune it to your liking. And the screen has been really good. I I'm a five uh, five foot eleven, uh, seventy five kilogram rider, and uh, I ride this uh, screen on its lowest, and I've not really had any. Uh, this is for me perfect. You know, it keeps uh, the wind off my chest, and it also uh, uh, puts some uh, wind on my helmet, so it pushes me backwards a bit. So it's just it's just better better for for my rider comfort to have a bit of wind on my helmet. So sort of just it makes me lean into the bike. Now uh, for for taller riders, there's there's such a lot of extra um, uh, 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 adjustability. So just so you have an idea with that. The TFT screen, a lot of guys are saying that it's uh, it's very complicated to read. I'm on mode four uh, on the on the on the layout and I actually like this layout. It's uh, and it's sort of again, you know, it's something that uh, you would get used to and then uh, you choose your mode and your layout and then you uh, get used to where stuff is. It's the same as uh, as an iPhone. You know, or an, uh, or an Android phone. As soon as you uh, know where your apps are on your home screen or or, or on the next screens, uh, you get used to it. And then when you change to a, a total new phone or whatever, then um, it takes a bit of time to learn where everything is. And this is pretty much exactly the same. So I'm mode four. Um, one of the guys gave me a little tip about seeing your mileage on the bike. Now I know when you turn the bike on, you quickly see your current mileage of the bike um, or you can look in the app. Uh, but otherwise, I can't find a way where you can actually see your current uh, total miles uh, written on the, on the bike. So he said in the, um, what is it, under the tire pressure setting, so under the coolant, so if you go TPS, there it says um, service is due. And then you also get your uh, TPMS and your temperature, but I don't see any uh, total mileage. So uh, if you guys know where this would be, <laughs> it would be uh, it would be quite uh, quite nice to know. It's sort of one of those things that uh, I don't I don't um, I don't need to see it, but it's just good to be able to have it on the bike where you can see your total miles. And not just a short little pop-up okay so um, comfort now I'm sitting uh, nicely upright uh, my back is nice and straight my, uh, my elbows are nicely bent and uh, it's a typical adventure bike uh, riding put riding position that's for me uh, nice and comfortable it's, it's just it's just it's just really you sort of sit in this bubble um, in this in this position where there's very little uh, stress and strain on on any part of the body uh, you just sit and go and I think this is this is uh, this makes this bike a, a such a great bike for just covering loads and loads of miles here yeah, we're sitting in the traffic light beautiful so yeah it's 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 super comfortable this one has got the built-in um, uh, triumph heated grips a little button on the on the um, on the hand grips such a simple design you know sometimes you need to go and find through the menu system here to actually turn on the heated grips this is just press the button there's three settings 
full speed, medium speed and low speed and um, it really works. I would suggest if you are thinking of getting heated grips, always uh, combine the heated grips with, uh, with say, uh, hand guards because if, uh, if you don't have the hand guards then, um, then you don't get the, um, the cold air away from your, from your hands and then it also just causes uh, the heated grips not to work that well because it's always fighting against is always fighting against you. Uh, 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 what do you call it? You, uh, uh, your your hands getting cold from the outside, and the heater grips trying to warm from the inside. So that's just a that's just a tip for for if you're buying the, like say the the uh, the 850 and you are looking just to get the heater the heater grips, get some hand guards as well. It's not going to make too much of a difference on the on the price. So heated heated grips works well. Um, this this one has got the heated seat as well. Uh, the heated seat I've not really used um, in in anger last uh, winter. I did use the heated seat, but it's again it's some some of those things that is uh, it's a uh, it's really a nice to have, not a necessity for me personally. It gets cold here in the UK, but it's not that cold. And that's why. Uh, I've actually got a heated vest on, the case heated vest with the battery operator so I don't have to plug it into the into the bike. And uh, that that keeps me so nice and toasty and I've also got heated, uh, heated gloves. That is, um, I only wear that really when it's super cold. Um, but with heated grips that is, uh, sort of sorts that out. So heated grips, heated seat. Uh, all very nice to have. Then this bike has got the quick shifter. Um, now, as I said in previous videos, I had a quick shifter on my uh, Street Triple R, uh, uh, st yeah, my Street Triple, and um, the quick shifter didn't work that well. It uh, it was um, sometimes it would shift and sometimes it wouldn't. Now I know um, you could uh, take it into the dealership and get them to really fine tune it, but this bike's uh, quick shifter. Up and down has been really guys super sweet perfect man you know it's like an it's like an it is it, it was it's probably 200% uh, better than uh, the one on the street triple quite bizarre because the street triple you would expect the quick shifter to really work well uh, but the quick shifter on this bike is just absolutely perfect absolutely perfect There, I use the quick shifter because I want to hold on to uh, want to hold on to the handlebars and just shift up. Yeah, so the quick shifter is absolutely awesome. Now, just a little quick point: um, a lot of guys were saying that uh, 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 you know, for the cheaper bikes, they sort of missing quick shifters and they missing. Uh, they should have put in cruise control and they should have put in this and this TFT screen is too small or whatever. You know, if you start loading like, like the cheaper brand bikes with all these bells and whistles, then it becomes an expensive bike again and then it loses the price point. So you can add all these things usually onto the bike and uh, 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 then at least you buy a base bike and then you you basically fine tune it to what you like it. You know, if you want to eat the grips or you want a quick shifter, you can add those things on. And that's what makes Triumph so great, is um, they allow you to really, um, really add additional uh, 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 kit to the bike, to the base bike, and that's absolutely awesome. Triumph's uh, accessory catalog is just phenomenal, you know. When they bring out a bike, they usually have all the things, luggage added on, um, a, a, a quick shifter, heated grips, lower seat, comfortable seat, um, all these things. It just, it's, just, it's just absolutely brilliant to be able to, to, to then buy a, buy a base version for, uh, for uh, budget conscious uh, people and then add stuff onto it. Makes such a, makes such a big difference. I really like the sound of the bike, it's that uh, really distinctive uh, Triumph sound. 
and uh, this one has got the stock exhaust and the st stock exhaust has got a, a really nice sound to it as well what's this guy doing because people is too busy with uh, with with doing what what they what they supposed to be not doing when they're driving a car on the phone and, you know, trying to change music and they just like like cut the roundabout out there you have it on video really so um, comfort of the seat so the, the seat is nice and plush um, it's comfortable I can I can pretty much uh, do about two hours on the seat and then my then my bum becomes uh, a bit numb uh, you know resting for half an hour no not half an hour 15 minutes 10 15 15 minutes off the bike stretch a bit and then it's uh, and it's sort of uh, back to normal um, and I can carry on but uh, yeah I'll probably say the seat is about a two hour seat this guy doing so beautiful he's on his own mission uh, so yeah the seat's comfortable um, even even uh, when I've when I've taken my wife as pillion on the back she says the seat is nice and wide it's flat it's also got a rear heated seat so so her seat is also heated and um, especially if you do long trips with a pillion on the back it's quite nice that they also have uh, the luxuries that the the rider or the or the or the main driver has it's, it's, it's also awesome i like the uh, daylight running lights very awesome looks cool uh, the lights at night is also very nice can't complain about that the uh, low, uh, uh, low beams and high beams works perfect the instrument clusters on the left side whoa what's this guy's doing and on the uh, and on the right side you know it's nice and nice and easy you've got your home button on this side and here you've got your little joystick um, a lot of people say complain again that they uh, punch the um, they punch the what do you call it the horn while they're trying to work the thumbstick. This is sort of again um, if you if you get used to your bike. <laughs> if you get used to your bike after you've owned it for a bit, then you know how the stuff works. So. Uh, I love this bike, love this bike. Okay, so uh, yeah, just, just to cover that bit off. So if you get used to the cluster and how it works and, and where the thumb uh, little joystick is, it works. You know, I can't complain about it. It's not something that, uh, um, yes, in the beginning, the, you know, you have to feel a bit around to it. But now after owning it for, for like a year, it's all these things around the bike is natural. So guys, final thoughts on this bike. I think this is an absolutely cracking bike. Um, if I personally would uh, buy this, buy into this bike again for the type of riding that I do, I don't go uh, massive long miles. I don't go touring. I don't. Uh, I actually just buy a adventure bike for riding around and exploring the countryside. That's what I really enjoy about this bike. It's just uh, easy to ride easy to move about because it's not super heavy um, uh, well it, it is heavy but it's not unwieldy I mean let me let me say that um, I've been using the Kali motor app and just explore the countryside it's just absolutely brilliant you you just can't go wrong with this bike uh, everything everything around the bike is just it, it's just it's just it's just brilliant it's a, it's a it's a really comfortable environment to be in and that's what is for me it's key sounds good looks good um, I like the red color a lot of guys like the like that dark blue as well it's absolutely awesome as well but yeah uh, all the bells and whistles on this thing is if you can afford it go for it um, but if you but if you were looking at the cheaper one the 850 um, go and test drive the bikes guys go and test drive the bikes if you can if you have a dealer close by get on the bike go and, and just go and take it out for an hour it is uh, absolutely brilliant.
Well, okay guys, um, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any questions about the bike, any, any, uh, 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 anything that you want to know about the bike, then uh, please drop it in the comments below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe. It will really help the channel. I want to really get to 2,000 subscribers. Um, and then as well, um, just if you want to follow along, there's, uh, there might be a bike change on the horizon. So uh, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along. And um, if you did like the video, give it a, give it a thumbs up and share, and share the video out. It will be much appreciated. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Cheers!